Hi, welcome to Reset 2023, day five. I'm Elliot. I'm Mandy. We're here to talk about fruit of the spirit, self-control. Hey, honey, you want a chip? Ooh, I'd love a chip. These are my favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Would you like another one? No, no, self-control. Are you sure? I'm fine. Fine. I'm good. All right, I'm just going to place a right here. All right, that's fine. Good. Self-control is a lot of things. I think that there are two sides to self-control. There's the side of self-control where you uh, reject things that you don't need or abstain from things you don't need. And then there's the side of self-control where you go out and do the things that need to be done, even if they're not what you want to do. Um, an example would be getting up in the morning, taking our daughter to school, that kind of thing. Um, going to work, that kind of thing. Studying. Studying for a class, that's a big one. Um, Food. Eating the right food, that's more of the like doing the right, you know, letting the right things in. And then the studying and that kind of thing is doing the things that are, that are needed to be done. So, honey, what's your favorite scripture on self-control? I would say Proverbs 25, 28. Like a city whose walls are broken down is a man who lacks self-control. Um, it brings to me that if a city doesn't have walls, anything can come and go. It um, leaves you unprepared to defend yourself, that kind of a thing. In life, lots of different things are coming at you. And having self-control, it, it's crucial to, the, to protect yourself from all of those things. My favorite scripture that relates to this topic would be Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It's really important to practice self-control with our words and the things that we say to one another. And that is something that I personally have to work on in my life and make sure that I am saying the right words. And sometimes, though, that leads me to not say anything, but sometimes that might be better. Another scripture that I really like is uh, 2 Timothy 1.7. God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Another translation to that would be self-control, which is crucial for this fruit in the spirit. So what is self-control to you, honey? Well, self-control is when you're being tested. Um, if there's not some kind of test or some kind of adversity, then it's not really self-control. Self-control comes into play when you have a choice to make, and there's always a choice to make, especially when it comes to self-control. One chip really isn't that many. Um, it's smelling really good. Okay, honey, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I just love the chips. You can do it, honey. I love the chips. Let's look at Proverbs 16.32. It is better to be patient than powerful. It is better to win control over yourself than over whole city. Yeah, in that scripture, it speaks to me that uh, even if you're the governor of multiple cities, if you don't have yourself under control, you really don't have much because the next day could be your undoing. Um, think about winning 
battles in a war, you know, a lot of times people can win one or two battles, but then if they don't stay focused on the self-control aspect, then the next battle they lose. And if you lose enough battles, you end up losing the whole war at the end anyway. So it's more important to have control over yourself than it is over whole cities, because from there you could have control over whole cities. So there is patience in self-control. Is absolutely, that what you're saying? Absolutely. You're going to need to be patient because it's going to come and it's going to go and you're just going to have to maintain a level of focus on it in order to maintain self-control. Okay. Okay, just two. Two. Two is good, right? I don't know, honey. Mm. I'll stop at two. I'm good. Go ahead. What were we saying? All right, one more. One more is three, which is completely within my limit. Are you sure? Are you sure you're gonna stop at three? Don't do it. I've been doing good. Stop at three. I'm good, I'm good. So we've been talking about what it looks like to have self-control, but what does it look like when you don't have self-control? We see plenty of that in our days, in, in today's day and age. Um, once again, like the scripture says, it's like a city with the walls broken down. There's just, there's no resistance. It just, whatever comes is what is allowed to be done. And if, you know, if you're not in control of yourself, what is in control or who is in control, that kind of question should come to mind almost instantly. Um, and then in my opinion, one of the only things you actually have control of is yourself and, and your behavior, you know? There's always a choice which way to go with that. Um, not all of your choices are going to require self-control, but the hard ones, those are going to require self-control for sure. When battling with self-control, how are some ways that people can reset? Um, I would probably start with the emotions. You need to figure out how things are making you feel. Um, an example, um, everyone gets a flat tire. If you get a flat tire, there are different ways people react to that problem. Some people immediately get angry. Uh, some people feel helpless to deal with it. Um, but in a lot of ways you could, you know, it just depends on the scenario. You could deal with it by going to God, praying and, you know, trying to get help from friends, family, your spouse, just depending on where you're at in life, your pastors, that kind of thing. Um, For me, spending time in worship is a really good way to reset. Nice. And spending time in the word, those are really good ways for me. Absolutely. What about for you? Um, um, I definitely try to pray. That's definitely where I would default, especially if I run into a situation where I'm having trouble with my self-control. Um, and talking with you, obviously, I, I talk with my wife a lot when we run into issues or if I run into issues, that kind of thing. Um, friends, family, that kind of stuff, too. Here's another great scripture. James 119, my dear brothers and sisters, always be more willing to listen than to speak. Keep control of your anger. Absolutely. A lot of times we want to be heard. So we want to get in the conversation uh, and the other person isn't going to get a chance to speak and then they can get angry and you can get angry from different ways that that conversation goes. And when it comes to being angry, you know, how you react to the anger is the really important part. Everyone has things that triggers anger in them. But I think self-control comes into play when you choose which reaction you're going to have. What is a good indicator to you that you're resisting self-control? I would say when um, I'm running an idea through my mind that I can either do it later or what I'm doing now is good enough. And I can feel the spirit kind of come on to me and kind of tell me that that's not right. That's me trying to find a way out of whatever situation I'm in. And I genu genuinely feel that the spirit is guiding me to step up and use that self-control. Today we have an assignment for you. Take time to meditate on Philippians chapter four and listen to the ways that God is telling you that you need to work on self-control and what are some areas in your life that you need to strengthen your self-control.
All right, now we're going to take the time to go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. We just pray that um, everyone that can hear these words will have your strength and will in their life when they practice their self-control. And may the Holy Spirit guide them in all the ways that they need help to resist and to grow stronger and to grow the fruit of the Spirit known as self-control. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for joining us in our Reset Day 5 Fruit of the Spirit Self-Control. I'm so proud of you, honey, for not eating any more of those. Don't you? Self-control is just controlling myself. It's listening to my heart and doing what is smart. Self-control is the very best way to go. So I think that I'll control myself.